Um, being out as trans to my friends is like, I have this really great feeling. It just makes me really confident in my identity. And they're always super supportive of me. Like if you ever like need a place to stay or you need help, or if you need resources, you can always just come to us. And um, last night during the day of silence, I actually came out to my grandma. Um, she was actually the second family member I came out to. The first one was my sister. And she doesn't, she still doesn't really know like what it is like for me being trans. So I kind of like have to constantly remind her like, oh, he, him is pronouns. But like coming out to my grandma was definitely a lot more scary because just like I, I do love her a lot and she definitely accepts me. But it's just it was just a lot different coming out to her rather than my friends. Because like with my friends, it's just like if one of them doesn't accept me, I can just go, well, bye. I don't need to deal with you in my life. But with my grandma, it's like just this big like what if scenarios like start to go through your head. But it was just this big load off my chest and soon I'm going to come out like to the rest of my family and then soon like to my whole school and I just have like a really great feeling about it. What my school can do would, well, first of all, they could um, be more like inclusive of them because definitely like during, like for like our little planners that we get always at the beginning of the year, they're not inclusive. It'll, def it'll definitely talk about like bullying and harassment, but it won't state anything specifically like LGBT wise. Um, for what I know, I'm the only out trans student at SoCal High, but I don't know like who else there. And a lot of kids there don't know their rights. So that's another big issue. We just need to know what we can and can't do like at schools, especially LGBT wise, cause just they're not like as inclusive as they should be. Ever since I was little, I always just kind of knew like I was different. Like I always grew up in a ra in like a really feminine home. I grew up with my grandma, my great grandma, and my older sister. And um, when I was really little, they put me in dance, so I was just constantly surrounded by girls, just just always. And so when I was like about ten, I just kind of was like, I mean, I don't know who I am yet. I mean, at fifteen, I still don't know who I am. So I'm just like. Well, whatever. And then as and then when I was like around like 11 or 12, I was like, hmm, I think I'm lesbian because I just liked girls. And my first girlfriend was at uh, 13. And but then after my first girlfriend, I kind of realized like, oh, I don't mind like other pronouns rather than she, her. And then at like the end of of seventh grade, I just kind of like realized like, oh, I actually kind of prefer male pronouns. Like I don't really like female pronouns. And then like the beginning of my freshman year, um, it was just like, no, like I want to be called he, him, his, like that is who I am. That is my identity. Like, and it's just, I've been identifying as he, him, his and Uriah for like about a year now. I'm a sophomore in SoCal High. I actually have a lot of favorite movies. That's a really difficult question to ask. Um, I guess my favorite movie that I'd have to say right now would have to be The Last Unicorn because I went to the uh, book signing like last week with Peter Beagle, the author. And um, it's my favorite movie because just as like a little kid, I just loved unicorns so much. And like growing up, it kind of like I kind of like found out like, oh, it's like a symbol for like a bunch of things. And then like learning more about like the LGBT community, like a lot of people are always like, oh, unicorns and rainbows. I'm like, wow, that's really cool. And like in the movie, when I was watching it, like there's a scene where the unicorn like turns into a human and how like she just coexists with a, with a couple other humans. So it's like, oh, it's kind of like coming together in unity, like in our own society. And I just thought that was really awesome. I have too many favorite colors, to be honest. I'm really indecisive. I usually try to stick to um, like neutral colors, like light browns or blues or grays. Um, for today, I guess I'll say my color would be a light gray because I go to the strange meetings and so sometimes we'll get into topics. And one of our topics was about religion and I usually tend to stay in like neutral areas in questions where it's like, do you believe in this or no? And yeah, I feel like gray like really describes me because it's like the perfect like middle ground of colors.